for a Muslim to put his savings in an interest or riba-bearing account or bank for safety purposes if he or she pays the interest that he earns out in charity. Most of the scholars, they say that if under compulsion, especially if you're a non-Muslim country and for safety reason, you can keep your money in the interest-based conventional bank, but whatever interest you get, you have to give in charity without seeking the reward of Allah because it's haram. Most of the scholars say that, but I personally, I disagree with them. That's my view. I agree more with the view of Sheikh Utaymi. He says that even this is prohibited because the Quran does not say do not use interest. If the Quran would have said do not utilize, do not use interest, then the verdict was right. The Quran said don't involve in riba. Don't take, don't give. So if you have to give in charity, first you have to take from the bank. So I disagree with that. If you have to stop the system of riba, you have to totally ban this system. We can't say they'll put for safety and then I'll take the money and give on charity. Indirectly, you're encouraging them. Because the moment you open an account which has got interest, you are signing and giving them permission that you're agreeing with interest with riba. That itself is a sin. So Allah's curse will be on you. Allah the soul will wage a war against you. Because I ask this question and I say to these people who say that you can put in the bank and give in charity, that suppose I deal in drugs, in cocaine, in brown sugar, and suppose I invest a million dollars, every month I make a profit of a million dollars, and the complete profit I give in charity to the poor people. When I ask, is it allowed? They say, no, it's haram. I said, why? Because dealing in drugs, cocaine, brown sugar is haram. So when dealing in drugs, cocaine, brown sugar is haram, riba is a bigger haram. Because if you deal in riba, Allah and Rasul will wage a war against you. So when you're giving me permission to keep in the bank and deal with riba for a bigger sin, surely you should give me permission for a smaller sin. So therefore I disagree that if they really want to keep for safety, they can very well keep in an Islamic bank. Or as a last resort, they can keep in a current account. There are some accounts in the bank which are accounts which don't give interest. They call it current account. There's no interest at all in that. That as a last resort you can keep, but only keep that money which is required for rolling because I know that being in different countries like in India, in UK, you have to deal with checks, etc. So if you're a businessman, keep only that much amount which is required for rolling. Otherwise, you can invest it in property, in real estate, in stocks, whatever it is. And the least, if you want for security, you can take a locker and keep hard cash in the bank. I know it's foolish, but yet it is better than involving in riba. At least you'll be safe from Allah and His Rasul. Otherwise, they'll wage a war against you. As a last resort, if you really want only security, take a locker, which will cost just a few hundred rupees a month or a couple of thousand rupees a year and a few pounds if you go to UK, take that locker, keep your money hard cash. Declare it to the government, no problem, but keep hard cash. If you really want security. But taking riba and even giving in charity because they're encouraging the system of riba, I consider that to be haram. Okay, I mean, in the UK, alhamdulillah, we do have a few banks now coming up, by the way. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to encourage those organizations to do